when I was younger and I started YouTube, I got bullied for it. Hey guys, it's me Arikana Bila back with a new video and today's video is going to be a day in my life puasa edition. So today I'm going out for iftar with two of my friends at Arab Street and I decided to bring you guys along with me. So to start off this video, I'm going to be doing a short little Q&A. We're going to be getting ready with me while I answer a few questions that I asked you guys on Instagram yesterday. It's currently 4.23 right now and I have to leave the house by 5. Let's quickly do my makeup. I'm kind of breaking out a lot this week. I think because my period is coming. But like so first question how has 2024 been for you so far um it's okay i guess i feel like towards the end of 2023 it was a bit rocky for me because um i was going through something yeah okay it was just a personal thing but i feel like as we get into like 2024 i got so much happier i felt more free i wasn't thinking much and to conclude everything I'm so much happier now and I'm so happy and I'm really happy. <laughs> Alhamdulillah for everything. What were some of your new year resolutions and have you been keeping up? Actually, I entered 2024 with no new year's resolutions but I did tell myself that I should start getting out of my comfort zone a little bit more. Start feeling uncomfortable so that I can start growing if that makes sense. For example, I should start socializing more because I'm the kind of person who doesn't really talk. It's like I can... Okay, it's not sombong guys. It's not sombong. Like people call me sombong for this. I can be an extrovert sometimes but most of the time I'm an introvert. I also told myself to stop caring about what people think because I used to care so much about what people thought. When I was younger and I started YouTube, I got bullied for it guys. <laughs> it went on. It became a thing until People started making hate pages about me, posting stuff about me, saying I'm ugly and all that shit. Back then, I wasn't really affected by it because I was young. It was really nothing. But since I'm older now, I try my best not to think about it too much or take it to heart. Not really care too much about it. I'm my own person and I'm allowed to do whatever I want. If this stuff makes me happy, then screw you. <laughs> Um, I don't really know if I answered your question, but next question. When did you start your YouTube journey? I started when I was primary two, I was eight years old. It's just something about filming myself, creating content, just talking to the camera makes me happy. I love documenting my life and then like to grow old and then look back at it, I'll be like, ew, that's so cringe. But like, oh my god, I was like that. You, you get what I mean? It's, it's like a nice feeling. What was the first editing app you used? My first editing app that I used was Splice. It still exists now, I did check. But it's so much updated. Slowly from Splice, it went to video effects. And then I started editing more videos there. Which brings to the next question. What editing app do you use now? I use Adobe Premiere Pro and I started using it because of school. If you guys didn't know, I'm a film student and we edit videos here and there. But the funny part was, I didn't like using the app. I don't know why I didn't like it. I think it's just because it looks too complicated. But slowly when I started like exploring Adobe After Effects, and then I slowly like went into Adobe Premiere Pro. I started liking it lah. It's so much easier than iMovie to be honest. <laughs> Next question. Do you see yourself as a content creator? Since young, I've always been in front of the camera. Like I love filming videos of myself. I can literally like film about anything. In the future, I don't really see myself doing anything else other than media. So hopefully I end up somewhere in the media industry. So whether it is true like making videos, making social media posts, Creating content has always been a passion of mine and I would want to continue doing that. Any advice for the new year ones joining Poly? When I had my first orientation, I was kind of scared to meet people and it was during the fasting month. I decided to be a bitch and I, did, I didn't want to talk to anyone during the orientation. So basically, I didn't talk to anyone until this friend of mine. She's still my friend now. She came up to me and introduced herself. I was like, oh, okay, I have a friend now. So we became friends ever since. But the only advice I can give y'all, to be honest, is socialize more, talk to more people. Be yourself, that's number one. Then the right people will come to you. I prefer to keep my circle small. So if you want to socialize more and have more friends, then that's completely up to you. Okay, but if I had to tell my year one self something, I would have told myself to relax. Take a step back. Don't push yourself too hard. I know that you have expectations to meet and blah blah blah, but no overreact lah. <laughs> Secondary school and poly, they're 
completely two different things. Poly is more, you have to discipline yourself more. And then secondary school, you have teachers to guide you and stuff. But once you go to poly, you don't really have that anymore. Your group of friends also, it depends. Choose your friends wisely. Like guys, when I mean overreact, back in year one, somebody like, Okay, I don't know if I should be saying this. Okay. So back in year one, somebody like plagiarized my work. Like she literally like copy paste what, what I wrote for like a reflection or something. Now thinking about it, why did the person want to copy my reflection? It's, yeah, somebody plagiarized my work and I cried because I was afraid that I might fail that module. And I had to like meet my lecturers and like the head of like my school, blah blah. And that happened and I just told them the truth. Then like nothing happened, like yeah, nothing really happened. I don't know what happened to that person that plagiarized my work, what she had to do and blah blah. But yeah, I was just overreacting. How do you feel about going into year 3 soon? Okay, so I am going into year 3 in April and honestly, what the hell guys? Time flies. I remember I was so desperate to enter poly. Like I, I was working my butt off just to enter poly. But now when I'm here, I'm like... I'm going to intern soon and my intern starts next week. I kind of need to start mentally preparing myself for that. But to future Arika, if she's watching this, I hope you're doing well. You're probably going to watch this and you've graduated poly and you'll be like, Holy shit. And you're going to be like, what now? Trust God, okay? Leave it all up to Him. Just work towards it. As long as you put in the hard work, you're gonna get it. Yes, that's what I always tell myself. Please continue to keep up the good work. Just push yourself. Be yourself. Do whatever you can to make yourself proud, your parents proud, your everyone proud. Yes. Do you play any instruments? Yes, I do. I do play the guitar, the ukulele, the piano. It's been a while since I played the guitar, so I might do that for Raya. We'll see. What is your dream vacation spot? I would want to travel to the US one day. That's just because of the YouTubers that I've been watching. So yeah, that's all the questions that I can answer today. Hopefully, I actually answered the questions because I don't know what I was blabbering to be honest. I can't multitask. Hopefully, you guys managed to get to know me better through these questions as well. It's 5pm right now. I need to leave the house ASAP, so let's do that. <laughs> Take it slow. You the type of dumb I'm really trying to get to know. If it's cool with you, maybe we can hit the show. I can take you places you ain't know you wanna go. Baby girl, slow it down before you catch a feeling. You don't know this where I've been, I have been a menace. I've been trying to take my time cause it's been a minute. Really all I'm looking for is Mrs. Independent. Yeah, I heard the good girls do it better. Love a little harder and it get a little wetter. Go and get good girl whenever we're together. Anytime she needed, I'ma bring a sweater for the weather. I'ma give you the world, now nah, it's pushing it I'ma give you my time, start booking it Nowadays we turn away from all the ushy gushy shit Everybody looking for love, but never look at it Hey guys, welcome back to our vlog We're at Haji Lane today And we're gonna get uh, roti because Arika wants Thai milk tea And we're just walking down the street right now So, I'll see you later <laughs> With the latitudes, and you're smart, turn around with the brains, do independent, and your credit score beautiful. Hi, friends. So, right now, we're gonna do a TikTok the one that goes, How does it go? And then Oof. she's gone. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs>
be like a loser. Okay, I try not. I did, I did, okay. Oh. <laughs> we were just from Halal oh, Corner. Oh, we yeah. ate some pasta. Which is really yummy and it's so much. Mm -hmm. And um, right now we are at a random road and we're gonna make TikTok. Yeah. Hey guys, so um, looking for a good angle. Oh, we found it already. Okay. Okay, let's see. Hey, hey, go, 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 we shall go there, we shall go there. Later your headline will be vlogger turned to Okay, hello guys. So, my paper patches are on. Don't mind that. Right now, I'm just exporting footages to my MacBook so that I can start editing. After editing, I'm gonna resume watching Project High Council. I only started watching it last night and it's actually kind of good so I kind of want to continue that. Other than that, that's pretty much it for my night. Okay guys, so that's all for today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!